Hey Barry, how you going? All right. Chris Thank takes you. an emergency yeah. call. Whereabouts? OK, I'm about five minutes away. He's needed at the beach immediately. Excuse me, you wouldn't have uh, happened to spot a penguin on your walk around the rocks, would you? This one might find it. Yeah, well, that's what we're afraid of. A sick penguin has been washed up on the rocks. Barry, from the rescue group Wires, needs to find it before urban predators pounce. There he is. <laughs> this little fella is very weak and fighting to survive. Let's get a bit of a check over him and just see if we can work out what's going on now. Just feeling around his, his, uh, his sternum there, or his keel bone. Now, penguins have a pretty good covering of fat, but he's, that sternum there is quite prominent. The malnourished fairy penguin has been found just in time. And aside from the stress that we're obviously putting him under just by looking at him, he, um, his system is under a bit of strain. I think the most likely thing that's happening at the moment is he's going through the process of molting. To do that, he requires a lot of energy, and if he hasn't put enough energy in, into his bank, which is his fat reserves, then he can't draw enough out during those periods to sustain him. And if he's lacking energy, he's going to come ashore, and he just can't feed. And if he does that, he's in big trouble. Chris is now taking the penguin back to the clinic for further treatment. Certainly not losing that ability. Next morning, yeah. Chris checks on the malnourished fairy penguin. Is he dehydrated? He's a little bit, yes. Yeah, mm. It's a bit indignant, really, the whole mm. crop needle, but it's the only one to do it. There you go, sweetheart. Paddy the penguin is weak, but he's putting up a fight. He's feisty. Chris is analysing a sample of Paddy's poo to find out just how much trouble this guy's in. Oh, hang on. We've got worms here. Jeez, there's so many. The, the simple fact is he's, he's not eating at the moment. He's under stress. And all these parasites in his gut are trying to eke out an existence as well and trying to suck out as much nutrition as they can. It's quite a chance there that he, he'd come out second best. It's 1.07 kilos. The zoo is coming to pick him up tomorrow. But in the meantime, we need to find a nice little spot to get his strength back. We're absolutely shockers out the back. There's so many dogs and cats out there that are just going to add to his stress. So I've organised some alternative accommodation. Do you mind if I have someone to stay tonight? No, that's fine. You sure? No, mate, you don't, like... I don't know if you're taking a piss here, but... Of course you don't. You don't have to ask me. It's only Chris has decided Paddy the sick penguin can crash at his place for the night, but checks first with his somewhat confused housemate. No, not at all. It's a bird. So that's fine. Boys. Just another day at the office. What have you, what have you got, mate? Penguin. A little penguin for you. What, what sort of penguin is it? It's a little fairy penguin. So, um, Brown, when was the last time you bought a bird home? That's unnecessary. But so uh, he's far less complicated than the rest of them, mate. <laughs> Pilchards are on the menu, but Chris needs something to help force feed Paddy. I'll be back in a second. Hello, how are you going? I've lived in it for 10 years now, and there's always some strange animal here a homeless dog or a knee cat or something like that. Can I just grab some um, chopsticks, just the wooden disposal one? Right. Uh, the penguin is about as strange as it's got recently. Got him. And yeah, they thought it was just a little bit strange, but never mind. We'll see if he takes it. Are you trying to kill it? That's my kill finger is trying to get. Paddy's not showing a lot of gratitude for his free dinner, but Chris persists. I mean, it looks very messy, and it is always going to be a struggle, but right now he doesn't really realise that he's got to eat. Come on, down the hatch. That's it. You've almost got to make the decision for them. The plan now for Paddy is some much needed rest. Well, mate, well, good night. There you go. Have I got a surprise for you? Yeah? I like the sound of that. 
these little flippers are powerful. And even when I'm holding them there, they, they flick against me and, and you feel them. It's like he's trying to slap me. How's that? I like it, isn't it? <laughs> he's rested up now. I'm pretty keen to see how he performs in water. Also, there's a chance he might actually feed a bit more comfortably in water as well. Never seen a beach like this before, have you? Immediately, he seems more at home. You put him in here, his eyes brighten up, he wiggles those little flippers like he, like he does. He has a shake, a bit of a preen. Thanks. Thanks. That was nice. What we're seeing right now is a very positive step in the right direction, but it's a very long road to recovery. It's not long. Not long, OK? Hey, Barry. Barry from Wires is ready to escort Paddy to the zoo. Hopefully, after a few weeks of rehabilitation, Paddy will be able to rejoin his mates out in Sydney Harbour. Hi, right, Paddy. It's been fun, mate. It's been real. Thank you. No worries. All the best. See you, mate. It's been a good holiday for you, hasn't it? You've really regenerated. <laughs> Look at that. New clothes, too. After two weeks at the Taronga Zoo Health Farm, Paddy's ready to be set free and he's got a new mate for company. Yeah, they've been getting on very well. They've become good friends in wildlife. You go there and make some more friends, all right? Okay, guys. See you, Paddy. Somewhere out there in Sydney Harbour, family members are waiting. And these two are impatient to start their journey. It's just so good to see him go and, and go so well. Hi, I'm Dr Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.